In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a really neat function that we've added here in EasyStone that is going to make uh, the process of working with designs that we purchase um, elsewhere and being able to convert those into a format that EasyStone can understand uh, much, much quicker and easier. Now, we used to have a function in EasyStone called EasyPrep. And that would allow us to take a third-party design and automatically convert it into the EasyStone format. And I say automatically, yes, it did do it automatically somewhat, but it was still kind of a step-by-step -step process. Well, now uh, we're, we're able to greatly simplify that process with the new convert design function. Now, this particular design was provided to us by Dora Edge. And you can find all of Dora's files here on the Synergy17.com website. And she has a bunch of different files and fonts available for purchase. Here in the search box, if you just type in the letters C-A-J and do a search, that will pull up all of the files that Dora has created and has available for purchase on the Synergy17.com website. So let's go back over here and take a look at this design and understand what Convert Design does. Now, when I select one of these green stones, it says curve on layer one. So we don't know what that is. And that is true with any file that we bring in that we've purchased, whether it's a file from us, uh, even with our design of the day members, when you bring in a file, uh, the stone, the actual stone information is not part of that file. It's just a circle. And in order for EasyStone to understand what these circles are, we have to convert that design. Um, and that is true with no matter what rhinestone software we're using. If we're working with files that we purchase, we have to convert it into a format that that software understands, whether we're using WinPC Sign or uh, some other rhinestone macro other than EasyStone or Hotfix Era, whatever the case might be. If we're working with a design that was created uh, in another piece of software, we have to be able to convert that design into a format that we can read here inside EasyStone. So let me show you what we're going to do here. We're going to just select our design. Now you can see it's kind of red and bright green and yellow. And we're going to click this button right here, the Convert Design Tool. And that will bring up this uh, dialog box. And you can see that the colors in the design have automatically changed to the new assigned colors. Now, what this function does is it takes the existing color and best matches that color based on the available colors within the library that we're working with. So when I clicked on Convert Design, we're working with our standard library here in EasyStone, and these are all the colors that are represented in the standard library. So these are the colors it has to choose from, and it matched them up as best they could. And, of course, the corresponding RGB value that we use inside EasyStone um, has, has been changed out as well. Now, from here, I can make changes. I can make changes whatever I might like. So, for example, for my emerald green, I think I'm going to make that amethyst. And when I do that, you see it updated here, but you also see it updated here in the actual design file itself. So we'll go ahead and switch those over to amethyst. And our next color that we're going to be working with is gold hematite. I'm actually going to make that hot pink. So you can see now all of our butterflies are hot pink. And then let's see here. For peridot, I'm going to make those, I think, light pink. We're going to make those light pink. And then for the darker tidbits, the light topaz, let's go ahead and make that pink. And then we have one more thing here, which is... Our amethyst has been switched over to jet black, and I think I'm going to actually make that amethyst as well. Okay, so now when I click OK, now that design has actually been converted into uh, a, a, under, a format that we can understand here inside EasyStone. So all I'm going to do is take these three stones in our flower and make those 16s because I can see they're 20s, and I, I don't want to use 20s for this project. So I'm going to select my design, add a weed box, and you can see how pretty that design is in that color combination as well. And now from here, if I want to do a stone report and find out what this design consists of and how much it's going to cost in stones, I can just click on my stone report and it will give us our stone report. So you can see here, now we have our stone counts. 
we have the overall design size we have the stone count based on our pricing is five dollars and 76 cents and then we have the individual breakdown of what this design consists of 12 of the ss16 in pink and so on and so forth we have it all broke down for you uh, ready to go all right, so that uh, explains how that new convert design tool is going to greatly uh, enhance the way we work with uh, files that were generated in another software. We can easily assign brand new colors to the color palette. We get a preview of that before we actually uh, confirm those color changes, but that will be a welcomed addition uh, because a lot of us do work with existing design files and now we can create our mock-ups and generate our stone reports and all of that. We can uh, simulate our stones. We have all that available to us uh, ready to go now because we've converted that design into a format that we can uh, utilize here inside EasyStone.